walk until you can touch my hand. Come on, just reach my hand. You can do it. Come on. Yes. Come on. Wait a minute. Uh. Yes. Come back. You did it. This room like nothing ever happened. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on. I got you. concerned, Ray, if you'd seen him. The way he was threatening Al Tenson. Well, how is she? And where is she, by the way? She's okay. Her shift ended about five or ten minutes ago, and the last time I saw her, she was headed out to the parking lot. Heading home? After what happened? I know I'd be. Well, at least that way she won't have to worry about running into Todd Manning the rest of the night. That's something. I'm fine. Thanks for everything, you guys. Yeah. Bye. Oh, come on. Where are they? Man, this is great. Really great. I am indeed trouble. Don't hurt me. That's my fault, Max. What? I don't uh, understand. Max, what? could you put me in my chair? Could you just help me in my chair? Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're not hurt. You're not hurt. Okay. It's right behind you. Okay, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Here you go. I don't know what I was thinking. I shouldn't even try it. I shouldn't even try to take that one step. Not without that bar. What? Uh, I could have fell. I, I could have fell. But you didn't. You didn't fall. Did you see? You see what you were doing here? You were walking, Luna. You're fine. You were walking. Everything is starting to happen, and it's going to keep happening, more and more. Luna, you I got you. Your... Oh, I didn't know you had come. Oh, honey, it's all right. Come on in here. Is it? Hey, look. I was here to help. You know what? You just missed the big moment. Guess who just took her first step? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. When? Just now? <laughs> on her own? One foot, then the other foot? Oh, he's making too much out of it. <laughs> I was so Great, upset. darling. Like That's terrific. Didn't. Wow. Hey, I, I didn't, thanks to you. And I, I took that one step on my own, thanks to you, too. Dylan, could you do me a favor? Sure, what do you need? Um, I left. <clears throat> I left some stuff over at uh, at home at Serenity Springs, and there's a list right by my bedroom, and my, by my bed, of things that I'd like for you to go to pick me pick up for me if you could. Uh, it's kind of late. I mean, Matt, as long as you is it all right with you? Is, um, I mean, do you mind if he goes over there just to cut a couple of things from home? Well, it's your call, but I'd be more than happy to bring them over. Oh no, that's all right. I mean, do you mind if you sure it's all right? Oh, Dylan, if, if you don't mind. I guess, yeah. Uh, Max, the, the list is right by my bed. It's you, you can't miss it. Would you get that for me? Okay. Trying to get rid of me, huh? Dylan, Max and I need a little bit of time alone. Well, how come? I mean... Besides the one step and all, is everything 
All right, or... I don't know, but I want to make sure. You know, I have to make sure. When I walked in the door, mm. you and Max look closer than I've ever seen you. Yeah, I know. Luna, you're thinking about getting back with him, aren't you? What are you, what are you doing here? Cassie said... Cassie's back No, no, no. No, just, just me. Um, I spoke to Cassie earlier down in Maryland, and, and she said that you weren't going to be here tonight. And... Oh, I know. Said you were moving out, that you found yourself a new place. Um, deal fell through last minute. Huh? Cassie said that you were going to head straight down to Sloan's Tidewater after the conference to see her and River. I, I, I wasn't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to see you. But I am going down to Maryland. I was a little late, so I was going to stop in here and pick up a few things I thought we might need and uh, leave bright and early. Oh, you stay in the evening here? I was. <laughs> I mean, I thought that I... Andrew! Yes, I was planning on staying here tonight. I mean, I... If you need a place to stay, No, you know what, it's stay, not a problem, because was... I, um... Uh, I'm not gonna be here. I, I had uh, a couple things that I was hoping to get taken care of at the hospital. Wait. Um... There's something that we need to get settled. We need to talk about what's happening between you and me. Not right now. Now. Now, Marty. We don't need to do this. I do. I do. I have to. I cannot ignore what's happening. I, 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 I've been thinking a lot, Marty, since the last time we saw each other before I left for the conference about, you know, come on, Marty, when you slipped and I caught you and what happened? No, nothing. There was nothing. There was nothing. Come on. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. It almost happened. I felt something. You felt something, too. I think that the feelings scared us because it was a surprise. And um, I really, I, 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 I need to talk about all of this. Oh, don't really I really don't understand what you're getting at. All I'm getting at is we can't deny the facts. All right, okay, the facts. You're a minister. You're married to Cassie. You've got a new baby. You're starting a new family. Those are facts. I'm your friend. Cassie's and yours both. Those are facts. The only thing left now is for me to say I'm sorry, because I owe you an apology. There's nothing to apologize for. Yes, there for. is. You brought me into your house, and you made me feel welcome, and I abused no. that hospitality. I could have gotten my own place to live by now. I should have. But I didn't. You made me feel too comfortable, Andrew. I stayed too long. We were so happy having you here. You know that. I know that. You and Cassie have been so wonderful, really, that I would never do anything. Not anything. I know. So I promise that I will be out of here by the time you get back from... Tidewater. Marty, Count you, on it. you don't have to leave. You... Believe me. Promise. In the meantime, I've got some things that I've got to do. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? Look at the hours. 
People don't go to work at this time. Don't things, run away from me. I've got me. things lined up on my desk. Andrew, trust me. What I'm doing is right. So if I'm, uh, well, if you're not here, when I get back, if I don't see you, you give my love to her, Cassie, all right? All right, of course I will. Okay. I will. Bye, Andrew. Marty. Bye. Come on. Are you kidding? After that meal, it was wonderful. I don't know where I found room for all of it. Oh, good. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Because I was afraid that you might not have much of an appetite. Oh, yes. Well, that is uh, one of the side effects of chemotherapy. Sometimes. But obviously not tonight. I wish you would stop worrying. So do I, but I can't. Sorry. Cassie, I've been through this before. I can take the treatment. I've finished the first round, tomorrow the CAT scan, and I already know what they're going to find. I can tell by the way I feel, by the way I've been eating. Hodgkin's is on its way to remission. Can you really feel that? No doubt in my mind. By the time I see Vicky again, I'll be 100%. Okay, and then you'll tell her about all this? After it's over. Look, she's been through a lot lately. I, I don't want there to be one thing left to worry about by the time I tell her. Our wedding is going to be trouble-free. I will settle for nothing less than perfection. Oh, yes, sir, General, sir. <laughs> Let me help. No, 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 no. You just sit, and that's what these dishes are going to do, because I'm going to check on River, make sure that he's sleeping first, and I'll bring some tea when I come back out. Okay, Cass. Uh, not just for dinner, for for coming down here so unexpectedly. And I especially want to thank you for being so... Nosy. Perceptive. I wouldn't have told you about the cancer had you not guessed. I just didn't want anyone to know about it. Not just yet, but... You've... You've changed things for me about all this. Your company and your support. I shall always be grateful. Well, I'm glad that we've had a chance to spend some time together. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I thought that I knew you well before. I know. I feel closer than ever. My son has married a truly remarkable woman. I know. He knows it, too. Well, is that you? I saw lights on the road. Good Lord, there is a voice from the past. Look at you. Me, look at you. <laughs> so you're back home after deserting us for the Yankees. Yes, I'm back home. Oh, and handsome as ever, too. Oh, no flattery, please. This isn't flattery, Flo. This is flirting. No one does it better than you. It's so good to see you. Holden? Nope. Dylan Moody. Uh, I'm looking for Max Holden. Doesn't he live here? Sure he does, but... Oh, well, wake him up. I gotta talk to him. Tell him it's urgent. <laughs> now, you make sure you mention this tomorrow, okay? Before you and Brent have your regular therapy session, okay? Oh, don't you worry. I will. <laughs> so, you took your first step alone, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
pretty great. Yeah. No bit more with that painting <laughs> from. She's just getting started, right? Yeah, I hope so. I'm right. Well, if you're ready, I'll turn down the bed. Uh, in just a minute or two. No more than that. Good night, Mr. Holden. Good night. No, what could be wrong? I mean, I took my first step on my own. I mean, I mean, I could have done it without you helping me. Oh, don't kid yourself. Well, not tonight. Not this fast. I'm gonna tell you, Max, I... It felt so good. I feel so good right now. I feel like I could just float away if I wanted to, part of I me mean, could. I feel like I've got so much hope in me, and it's been such a long time. And, um... I want to thank you for that. I just want to let you know how grateful I am to you for all that. I know that. Luna, what's wrong? It's, um, it's, it's late. You want me to go? Yeah, I think you ought to go. And I think maybe you don't mean that. Oh, nice to see who I'm talking to. Do you still want me to go home? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I really hate to say no to you. But I want to say yes to you always. I mean, I want to give you whatever I can, whatever you want. But I think I shouldn't go home right now. Not alone. Don't, don't do this, Max. No, I... Well, I think you sent Dylan out on a wild goose chase, because... You're not going to be needing those things you sent him out to bring back. Why not? No, you may as well just save him all the time and energy of dragging it all back and give him a call right now. You're not going to need those things. Because you're coming home with me tonight. No, I'm not, Max. I'm not. No. Nope. Yes, you are. But it's time. It's time for you to come all the way home. It's the right thing, you know that. It's what you want deep down, it's where you belong. Just come back with me. Come back home with me tonight. Right now. Wait a minute, it's either too late or too early for you to be here. Now, shouldn't you be at home in bed sleeping? Yeah, I tried that. That kind of night. Mm. Something on your mind? Well, work. I've, I've got, I mean, I've got stuff piled up on my desk to here. I'm so far behind. And I'm going to be, you know, leaving soon, going back to school. So I figured if I can't sleep tonight, why waste half the night on a trash novel? I might as <laughs> well come in here and try to catch up, you know, get a few things done. <laughs> All right, well, sounds like a plan to me. What about you? Why have come you're here so late? Well, I, uh, kind of had to hang around. Minor emergency. But as soon as I, uh, finish this tea, I'm on my way home. What kind of emergency? <gasps> Alex! Oh, my God. Uh, Just try to stay calm. What happened? Guess what? You are late for work. I am? Yeah, I guess I am. Why don't you tell me what happened? What can I say? I got held up. No easy, Luna. Just say yes. That's all. Just yes, Max. No, I can't go home with you. Why not? We, we both saw the difference. We know I can help you. Luna, you were walking. Okay, I, I know it was just a couple of steps, but you did it. You even took one step on your own. Because you were able to focus more with me. Because I helped you focus, you were able to come to me. I helped you want it enough. Luna, I can help you get better. I can help you get better faster. 
than anyone else can. You just have to let me, that's all. Please. Max, I know. I, I, I know you helped me, and I'm real grateful to you for that, but it could take weeks, months, maybe. And I will be there. I'll see it through with you. You have got a fight of your own, Max. I can do both. I love you. I love you. Luna, I love you. I know. I, I, I'm not. I, I, this isn't just about love. I'm not doubting that. Uh, but I also know that you feel guilty because of how this happened to me. And I know that you want me to walk just as much as I do. More. And, and you gave me strength tonight. But you need to save that for yourself. Hey. You look. have you have to fight this for yourself, too. You've got to take your own steps. Any addiction, especially gambling, is going to take everything you have. I'm, I'm already on my way. I'm even helping other people, remember? I, to I told you about Ellen, the woman from the group? Yes, and that's good, but you have, we have a long way to go. We can make this work. No, just... not we. No, no, not we. Not now. Mm -mm. Soon. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Who knows that? But I do know that when I'm with you, I cannot think clearly, and I need to do that. Can you understand that? Can you try? Help me here, Max. <laughs> I am trying to help you here. <laughs> all right, all right. I need you to help me by. I'm I'm tired and um. I, I, you can help me by, uh, I need, I need to be alone. I, I need to do this on my own and just, just say good night. Just good night. Call down to ER and tell them to get someone up here. Stat, tell them it's staff. Get the phone in the hallway. Alice, darling, look at this. Look at this, sweetie. Honey. It's okay. You're safe now. Nobody's gonna get you inside. No, I don't. You don't understand. All right, then. Help me, then. Help me. I'm here to help you, but I need to know how to help you. Okay? Where did it happen? Were you on your way to the in, home? In, in the, the parking lot. I couldn't find my keys. So I put my purse down yeah. on the car. And that's what I know. Oh, my God. Someone attacked you? Okay, someone attacked yes. you? You put your purse down and someone attacked you? Would someone mug you? No. You, you took your purse? No, not mug me. Then. What, what, what did he do? What happened? Did he, what, what, messing up like this, you're going to lose more than your job. You're going to be on your way back to prison. Your pardon was conditional. Do you remember this? I'm so ashamed. What, what is going on with you? This is serious. You cannot come in can, like this. Can't, can't, I don't need a lecture right now, okay, Ray? Look, I'm late. I got to go. No, 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 no. You got your job to do. I've got mine. Why don't you tell me what happened with Alice Henson tonight? What are you talking about? You heard me. Sheila Price told me about you grabbing her, said you scared her to death. Yeah, I yelled at a nurse. Big deal. It is a big deal. This is the kind of behavior that's going to put you back. I know. All right, bill. listen, Ray. Look, you don't got to worry about little nursey nurse Alice anymore. We worked it all out. 
You've been drinking. Mom? I mean, is this what this is? You come in late because you want to go out and get drunk? Answer me. Is that where you've been? I've been out doing all kinds of neat little things, Ray. All kinds of neat little things. You raped me. That's okay, darling. I understand. All right, so, um... Can you, can you recognize him? Did you see him? Did, no. did anyone else see what happened? No, he had um, a, a mask on. And then it was dark. He had a ski mask on. And, and I couldn't see. Okay, did you hear his voice? Could you no. recognize his voice again? No, he, he didn't say anything. He, 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 he didn't talk. He just, he just grabbed me. <laughs> he put his hand over my mouth. It's all right, darling. Okay, he can't hurt you now. Just relax. Calm down. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Just um, wait right here for me, okay? I'll... No, where are you going? Look, it's okay. Take it easy. I'm just gonna check on the doctor. I'm gonna check on the doctor. No. Nobody's gonna be able to get in. I'm gonna be right outside that door, just right outside the door. I'm gonna make sure that, that that your help is coming for you, okay? I promise. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna help. I'll be right here. You can look for me. You can look right out the door, okay? Be a minute. Just one minute. Okay. I'm not gonna just gonna watch you. Watch me. That lounge. I said now. There's someone on the way up. Uh. Who did this? Marty, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to, I need you to call security and tell them to check out the hospital parking lot. And I need you to call the Landview police. Because I want I don't want to leave Alice alone right now, okay? Wait, wait, wait a second. Was it a mugging or something else? And she said he. I, I can't talk about it. Right look, now. she had on her face when she walked through the door. I know what that means. I've seen it. Listen to me, I felt it. Alice was raped, wasn't she? Look, we need to keep this quiet, all right? Right now, Alice needs to feel safe. She needs to feel like she can trust the people around her. Of course, Kate. Of course, I understand. Of course you do. Good. Does she know who did this to her? Did she say? No. She, she hasn't said anything, not yet. Look, could you make that call? Steady all through elementary school, junior high, high school, and college. West Point, in his case. I remember the day we met. And if you dare remember the year out loud, Sloan Carpenter, <laughs> I will swear that you have lost your southern man oh. up in Landview. <laughs> now, we kissed during the Thanksgiving pageant in the third grade, <laughs> and he has loved me ever since. Yeah, she fell in love with me the minute she saw me in my Indian costume. <laughs> <laughs> and our families have loved one another since before the Civil War. Now, his mama was planning our wedding mm. when we were in diapers. And her mother 
chose names for all our children. First boy, Gordon. First girl. Rosalie. Rosalie was my Rosalie. grandmama's name, and he God. hated it so much. I always thought that was the reason you threw me over for <laughs> Becky. Now, that's Rebecca. Yeah, his first wife, Andrew's mother. I do know that. And I'll have to admit it, though. I loved her, too. I could see why you made such a fool of yourself over Becky. Oh, no, not that old story, please. <laughs> you made us a fool of yourself over Stephen. Mm. This was the most terrific man. That he was. Mm -hmm. We were both lucky. While we had them. It's unbelievable, isn't it? They both died the same year. Stephen and Rebecca. Now, half the people on the bay were sure that we were going to get together at last. And then this precious man went and sneaked off up north. And I understand that lightning has struck twice. <laughs> Someone has managed to steal you away again, true? This is very true. If Victoria Lord of the mm -hmm. newspaper lords, That's right now, it. you're going to tell me, going to tell me everything. I'm going to hate it, but you know I'm going to love her, too. Oh, you will. There's no chance that she's all wrong for you. I'm sorry, there's not a chance. Oh. And it's going to take me about three weeks to tell you all the wonderful things about Vicky. And I suppose I'll just have to be patient. Well, I've got to go get my beauty sleep. That garden society is going to be at my door at the crack of dawn. It is so good to see you. Hmm. I'm going to walk you down. Good. Oh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hello, Carpenter Residence. Cass. Andrew, where are you? Are you home? Yeah, I just got, I just got in, and, uh... Listen, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to stay here tonight after all. I'm, I'm wide awake, so I thought I'd hit the road. But, sweetheart, it's so late. Well, I know, but I'm, I, I'm not going to sleep. I'm much too excited about seeing you and River, and, and uh, so I'll see you in the morning, all right? Yes, of course it's all right, and I can't wait to see you. I love you, Cass. I love you, too. In the morning, right? Okay, you drive carefully. I will. sooner than we expected. First thing tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. He's planning on driving down tonight. Son, you've got to tell him. You've got to tell him as soon as he gets here. You're out of remission and he has to know. Yeah. Whoa! Believe you still here? Yep, got held up. By what? Been in there dealing with your guests. What are you talking about? Yeah, she's inside. She? Yeah, she's waiting on you to get home. You let a total stranger in my house? We're not just talking about any woman here. We're talking about a police woman. Police? Well, is it Al? Is it something happened no, no, to CJ? No, no, They're fine. Good luck. Dylan, what's going on? Dylan, hey! Always get to know the whole family before you marry. All right, police woman, 2 a.m. What can I do for you? Hi, Max. Uh, well, oh, don't just stand there. Aren't you going to say hi to your sister? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, God, Andy. <laughs> Okay, you left, Hunter. You headed off for St. Louis. You, uh, applied for that cop job. That, I know already. Oh, the Academy's tough, Max. It's like boot camp. They never let up on you. I mean, that's why I couldn't be here for your wedding. I just couldn't get the time. We understood. Yeah, but as soon as I got the badge and the job, I, I wrote for that job here in Landview. Why didn't you call and tell me about this? Oh, I didn't want to get your hopes up. Besides, I mean, they could have said no or... 
I put me on a huge waiting list. I mean, who knew how long it was going to take if it even happened at all? Oh, yeah, from the looks of it, it took a real long time. Ah, <laughs> oh, you should have seen me when I got the call. I was flying. I mean, they just said, you know, be here as soon as you can. So I, I packed it up. I got my badge, my uniform orientation. I start first thing tomorrow. <laughs> That's great. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, I'm sure. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of surprised, but yeah, I'm happy. Uh, what? What? Well, no, I, I know my brother happy, and this isn't it. Something's on your mind, Max. You, do you want to tell me what it is? Well, it's just, uh, you and Hunter. I mean, I, I knew you two were having problems, but I... Hoped you'd work it out. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no hope of that. That's for the better, anyway. Hunter just didn't seem to be the man that I thought he was, that's all. <sighs> no, you let me down, Max. In the worst way. I mean, I've never been so disappointed in anybody in all my life, ever. And, uh, never finished. I could never trust him again. Do you understand? Max? Yeah, I understand. Would you mind if, if I ask you something now? Sure, what? Well, before you got back, I was talking with Dylan, and he said Luna was living at the hotel. Yeah. She's, she's staying at the Palace Hotel, that's right. Do you like telling me why? Okay. You sure you're okay? You need anything? Tea? Thank you. Alice, you did the right thing by letting the doctors examine you. Because then there'll be proof exactly what happened. I'll do what I have to do. Good. Good for you. Yeah, good for me. The police will be here soon, so... The police? You didn't say anything no, about okay. the police. It's okay, darling. It's all right. They just want to get more information as quickly as possible, like the doctors. Uh -uh. It's all right. If you want me to stay here, I'll be right by your side. I won't go anywhere if that's what you want. Yeah, I want you here. Okay. Okay. Just hold on. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. It's okay. Hey. Alice, anything that you can remember about what you've been through. I mean, no matter how small, can be helpful in catching whoever's responsible. Okay. okay. So it's very important that you try to recall as many details as you can, okay? Um, do you think you might be able to recognize the person who raped you? Do you have any idea? Who it might be. All right, Bob, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you coming in. And so does Todd. I'll see you soon. Bye, Bob. Okay, Todd. He'll take your shift just this once. Yeah? Good old Bob. I want you to go home, get some sleep, get yourself sobered up, and whatever you do... Don't do anything like this ever again, I know. Are you going to give me a big fat F on my therapy report card? Go home and call me when you wake up, because we are going to talk about this. Oh, and I can't wait, Ray. I live to talk to you. That's what I love more than anything in the world, to talk, 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 talk. Okay, this is what I need, right? This is exactly what I need. 